Well, hello there, Tom Green, coming back at you with some UX pin goodness. And today's goodness is one very slick addition to the UX pin feature set. You now have the ability to add storybook components created in React.js directly to your UX pin prototypes. For those of you unfamiliar with Storybook, which is right here, it is a component library and open source tool for UI development. For developers, you're handed a sandbox that you can use for component creation outside of the main application. For designers, this new feature in UX Pin, Storybook integration into UX Pin, allows you to add those components to your projects and using the args in the Storybook code, designers can format the components in UX Pin. The best part of all of this is developers can go back into the library at any time change the component state or even add a new one or even add new components and that change is instantly reflected in the UX pin library. To start you will need to have UX pin add their merge feature to your account. I'm just going to pull it over here. Merge is the enabling technology that allows you to import, use, and sync coded React JS components from Storybook. The first step in the process is to open a UX pin document and add a storybook library to your UX pin library. So I'm just going to push aside merge here and we'll come back to storybook. So here's the library I'm going to be bringing in. It's the material UI library from uh, my pals at UX pin. And over here on the left are the components that I can bring into my UX pin document. And if I open the date picker, which is right here, I can actually see how it works. Well, that's pretty cool. And down here below the, below the canvas are the controls. And these are the args or arguments representing the different states of the component. Now you're going to see these when the library is added to the document. So the first thing you need to do is to select the URL for the library that you want. So I'm just going to select it right here. And I'm going to copy it to my clipboard. And then I'm going to come over here to a UX pin document. Now I'm just going to go full screen here. And I'm going to open my design system libraries panel. And come down the bottom and I'm going to add a new library. Now you notice that you can add design components and now you can add components from Storybook. So you select that and click Next. Now what I'm going to do is give this a name. I'll call it Material UI. And all I have to do is paste in the Storybook URL. And I can also choose who has access to this library and even who can edit this library. Once I've got all that in place, I just click Create Library. And you can see it shows up immediately. Okay, so let's uh, add the date picker. So I just click it, and there it is. And I can open it up, make it a little bit larger. And over here are the properties. So I can choose various properties for it. Inline. Static. Okay, so these are the arcs that we saw over in Storybook. I can even add a, a label, so I don't want date picker, so I'm going to select choose a date. And you can see it's there, and if I make a mistake, I can always just come back to the input, and it's instantly reflected. And if I play it, I can swing through. You can see it's a little bit small. So I'm going to come back to my UX pin document, select the component, and I'm going to choose inline. And watch what happens. You can see that the component is still a little bit small, so I can just come back, make it a little bit bigger. You 
And there we go. And what we've got now is a truly interactive component. Okay, I'm going to uh, close the previews. And let's add another component. And we'll add the button group. So I just click it, there they are. And I can rename the buttons up here, but just remember you have to use JSON text format. I can choose the size of the buttons. You can see that's instantly done. So these are the various states. I can make a primary or secondary. Notice how the color changes. Or I can even make it a default. I can even disable it if I want. And I can also change the orientation. And these are all the arcs that are built into the storybook file. So there you have it, Storybook integration in UXPIN using their Merge feature as the enabling technology. As I said at the outset, this is one very slick addition to the UXPIN lineup and is designed to make life easier for both designers and developers.